some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the state of Missouri, where we find a frauder who is attempting to fraud at a jewelry store, but ends up getting trespassed because, well, he is definitely on private property, even though he thought he was on public property, which is a complete piece of BS on his part. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? What's going on, CTI fam? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as I was driving along here, I saw this coin and jewelry store right here off of the public sidewalk. So we are going to be exercising our... Are you stupid or something? Yeah, the, from the public sidewalk, but something tells me you're not going to be there for very long on the public sidewalk. And not to mention that you're frauding a jewelry store, which they do tend to get robbed, you freaking idiot workers so hopefully they don't have a problem with us recording as we are reminded that they are recording us guys so uh yeah we're out here on the public sidewalk so hopefully that won't be a problem for them today all right let's do a little bit of window shopping all right guys i was out here for two seconds looking at stuff and then there's a guy coming out here already so now what the fraud editor doesn't seem to understand is that not all sidewalks are publicly owned. In fact, some sidewalks are privately owned property that is pretty much open to the public to gain access to the building that they're attached to. But you know what? Intelligence with these frauditors is not exactly the uh, commodity that it should be. I mean, it's in low supply. Uh, I don't know what he has to say. What you doing? I'm just recording, doing a quick story. What can I ask what it's for? Yeah, yeah. A what? You can ask. Yeah, I was just asking what you're recording for. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick story. I, I can ask what the story's about. Uh, not right now. It's not out yet. Okay, well, we like to ask because for our business, we're security conscious, so we always ask why somebody would be recording any of our property without our discretion. Oh, security? Yeah, absolutely. About, like, what, our, what's, what's the concern? Anybody, anybody that's videotaping our facility without us knowing. Oh. So I, I, I'm curious, what, why, why would you be doing this? Yeah, that's I'm just doing question. a story about your jewelry store, but you shouldn't have a problem about recording. I mean, you guys are recording there on the, on the side of your building. It's still always a concern. We just always try to stay. Oh yeah, no, you're good, man. I'm not, I'm not out here doing anything. Do you have any bad. cards or anything? No, doing? no, no. I'm just doing a quick story slash investigation. So. Yeah, you definitely are a fan of Sean Paul Reyes, huh? That tired old argument of, yeah, they're always recording us, so why can't we record them? Dude, this is a security issue. Those cameras are there because, well, guess what, you nitwitted frauditor? This is a jewelry store. They tend to get robbed. They are there for the protection of the store and its employees. So why don't you try a better argument, dude? Because this one is really pathetic. Yeah, just, uh, just want, what do you think your total amount of uh, um, merchandise is in here? We don't disclose that. Oh, you don't? Okay. No, there's okay. no benefit to that. Okay. Yeah, it is. I, it's part of the story. I, I politely ask you not to record. Well, you guys got a whole bunch of nice rings and stuff in there. That's I was fine. just checking it out, seeing if there was anything, you know, well, worth we looking at. I, I, I would politely ask you not to record our facility. But I, w I would like to. I know, but we don't want you to. We don't want anybody to record our facility. There's uh, no I mean, I don't, from our I, I don't like people recording me, but you guys didn't ask for permission to record me out here. Well, when you come to, a per when you come to private property, that, yeah. Oh, but the cameras... And there's there's signs on the door saying you're being recorded when you come in. So it's yeah. full willingly knowing that when you come to our facility, that that's the case. Well, this is with me. I, I record everywhere I go, man. Okay, well, we yeah. ask you not to. Okay, you can ask. Okay, well, if you continue to record, we'll just have the police come over and please not do it. We don't want anybody recording. What would you facility. call the police? I mean, the police record, too. I understand, sir. This is private property, so yeah, we, yeah. Don't have, we don't have to allow anybody to record anything we're doing here. But I'm on a public sidewalk. There are two things here, Frauder, that really concern me. The first thing is your inability to distinguish between uh, public and private property. You see, this is a privately owned business open to the public, which basically means if they want you to leave, they can make you leave. 
It's called trespassing. And I know you've been trespassed before. And the second thing that really concerns me right here is the fact that you were calling this an investigation and asking them about their inventory. Doesn't that seem a little bit uh suspicious to be asking about the dollar amount of their inventory while filming their property? It seems like you were begging to be trespassed at this point. I mean, this is just naturally stupid. But you're not doing public work by recording our facility. Okay, well, regardless, I'm going to ask you to leave. You're going to ask me? I'm going to ask you to please not record anything of our interest. But I have to finish my story. You don't. I do. How do you know what I'm doing? It doesn't matter, sir. It's our business. <laughs> I don't have to do any business if I would want to. I'm not doing business. Even more the reason we don't want you here than if you're not doing business with us. We're here to do this is a, a place of business. Yeah, and to yeah. To not do business is extremely confusing. Okay. Well, sometime I might come in there and try to purchase a ring or something. Okay, we well, can do that. Yeah. But to record us that, that we don't want to do. Well, I'm just doing my story on the outside. That's why I haven't gone on to your property. But, sir, I, I'm not sure I'll politely ask you this. But yeah. Please stop recording our facility. But I can't, though. I'm doing a story. I have to finish my story okay, first. Okay, well, I'll just have the police come up. I mean, the police are going to record inside of there, though. What sense does that make? Because we're asking to come in, not for some nice scene, or just to come by and do it. That's what Oh, man. Seems like you guys are scared of cameras, man. It's, tw it's 2024. You're right. It's 2024. But even in 2024, it's still rather suspicious to be asking about the uh, total inventory price of all the jewelry that they have there. Wouldn't you consider that a bit suspicious? Of course not, frauditor, because you're a complete imbecile who doesn't really think about things. Or if you do, you just want to uh, get that negative police interaction that you so crave. I'm just going to continue. I'll be out here for a couple more hours. Yep, yep. So if there's anything in there expensive. <laughs> yeah, guys, he said he was going to call the police on me. But you guys can see how many people are inside of there. Like, this place is packed. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! <laughs> oh my gosh did he really just do that <laughs> oh that right there had to be the funniest intimidation tactic ever <laughs> oh i hope you guys saw that yeah, dude, it's all fun and games until you meet the wrong one. Much like Jimmy Boy from uh, JC News Now, when he ended up getting clocked at that dispensary a while back. <laughs> the mean stare down. Yeah, you can ask. What's you filming for? Just because. Do, do an investigation. You mean an investigation? Yeah, an investigation. On what? For what? Hmm? You see how this makes us feel uncomfortable? Uh, are you uncomfortable? Yeah, I am, because I don't know who's filming me. That siren makes me feel uncomfortable too for me feeling about it. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing, man. Our yeah, I'm just are, doing an investigation. Our customers are complaining. They're, like, uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm just checking out, seeing what's coming and going out of this facility here. Well, we actually knew about you because a couple customers called saying that you made them feel uneasy because they're buying and selling things. I right? haven't talked to one customer. Well, yeah, I'm sure this frauditor is about to say, what are you going to do, call the feelings police or something like that? Yeah, frauditors don't care about other people's uh, feelings or anything like that. And they sure as hell don't care about being suspicious filming a uh, jewelry store now, do they? Because, well, who would rob a jewelry store to begin with? I mean, I'm sure that's what he's thinking. Yeah, I'm doing a quick investigation. Are you a police officer? Am I a police Are officer? You a police officer? I can't get that information out. Huh. Okay. You do you, my guy. Yep, yep. Enjoy yourself. I appreciate you. 
Oh, this place is hilarious. He asked if I was a police officer. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, guys. There's a Walgreens right there. I think they got tissues or whatnot if you need a tissue. No, I just don't want you to make my customers feel bad. <laughs> oh, I was just checking out your vehicle. It's a nice vehicle. Oh, okay. It's still nice. That's a cool color. I hadn't seen one of those like that before. That's a cool sh color shirt too, guys. Wow, we definitely have a narcissistic sociopath on our hands. I mean, he does he knows that people have feelings. He just doesn't really give a shit about them. Nor does he care if there's any potential of a uh, jewelry heist right here. Because, you know, a real sociopath really wouldn't give a shit about that either. In fact, he's just like Eric Carpenter. It's all one big game to him. Just to manipulate people and, uh, well, get his jollies. Oh uh, yeah, it's getting pretty uh, windy out here and cold. Um, you can tell that the seasons are changing. Uh, here comes a Creep Corps police officer right behind me. So uh, we're going to watch him educate. Okay. Good, good. For just a second, we gotta talk to you for just one second. Well, I don't talk to cops. We don't have to, you just gotta wait a second because this stiff gentleman's gonna give you a trespass warning not to come back here. I've never been on their property. That's fine, but he's gonna give you one now and then you can be on your way, okay? You just uh, on our property. Yeah, you're on the property. Uh, right sir, here. people drive through here all the time. We own this plot. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Which part? The whole parking lot. The okay. whole building is ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be over here, you can be on the other side by Walgreens, all that's all fine. Yeah, yeah. But they don't want you back on this property. Yeah cool yeah all right man you're free to go yeah i was free to go in there yeah you were yeah, yeah. <laughs> i just stopped oh yeah they really educated them on uh this situation didn't they but notice how he laughs about the trespassing warning that uh it's all just one big game to him and in this particular case he knows he lost but he just doesn't really care he'll move on to the next target and uh, get trespassed from there of course but in the end it's all just one big dumb game to him how many places can i get trespassed from this year because compared to last year looks like i can't go in there and buy any jewelry guys so uh That's all right. i have a lot of money That's okay I could really buy that whole know. place. So. I told this guy that Walgreens was right behind him. He could go over there and get a box of tissues if he wanted. What's your name and badge number, by the way? I'm Sergeant Doyman. Nice to meet you. And your name? Kleisel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yep. Yeah, it's a peculiar couple of different people, customers and employees. This gentleman's out reviewing our videotaping our outside. I got to talk to him, ask him to leave. Uh, leave the public is, sidewalk. Well, Why are you not, here, man? I'm just doing an investigation. No, you're harassing us. You're harassing I'm, not not, let's not, let's not I'm not talking to anybody. Let's not agitate it. I'm not talking to anybody. I asked and I record our stuff and he asked very personal questions about the business yeah. as far as what we have in, is in merchandise, which I don't... Pardon me, sir, but uh, you're dealing with a narcissistic sociopath frauditor type here. Uh, this was all one big game to him. He didn't care about your inventory to begin with. Oh, and by the way, frauditor, if you really had the money to uh, buy out all of his inventory, then... Why the hell are you doing this frauditing gig to begin with? I mean, if you had that kind of money, uh, you wouldn't be here. You'd be off doing something else. Is relevant. We relevant to, to what? To anything. But you don't know what my knowledge. you don't know what my investigations yeah. on though. So. Public knowledge. Robert, yeah, no worries yeah, for public knowledge. He's gonna go round and round, so you're sure. better off just leaving it alone. Okay. And he's on public on this property now, which he's allowed to do. Yeah, no problem. So. Um, He's, he understands the score now. I doubt he's going to come and back on the property, but if he does, give us a call. And you know the consequences if you do come back on the property, right? Uh, where? Back on their property. I'm, I, I can walk through. Well, that's their property, this parking lot here. So you can walk, certainly walk around. Do you understand? No. You look confused. Yeah, What yeah. part don't you understand? The being on their property. Okay, well, we gave you a trespass warning. They don't want you on this property anymore. Doing, so if you decide to walk through here, uh, you will be trespassed and arrested for that. Trespass. So there, this is like private, so nobody can drive on this. Well, people, yes, people can drive on this. Just like this gentleman is here, but they've asked you not to. Be so they can't property. come from there all the way into no, here. No, this is a private drive here through their property. 
Oh. Now, in addition to being a narcissistic sociopath, this guy appears to be uh, quite the moron as well. I mean, I don't think at this point that this is an act. He may actually be a legitimate idiot. But you know what? The ranks of frauditing are full of imbeciles and incapoops and total morons. So it's just par for the course. So people, be on this part here, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Totally fine. This so where does their property to, start at? You know, I don't know the exact, but I would probably think somewhere in this general vicinity. Okay, okay, works, no? yeah, yeah, no problem. Is that, un that you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Right. I just I just thought you meant, like, I couldn't, like, drive. If I want to drive through here or something, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Well, I mean, if you're driving to leave, it probably would just go that way because there's an exit right there. Just okay, simple yeah, yeah, everybody. yeah, that's no yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yep. All righty. All right, we're going to get out of here. All right, yeah, questions. you're good. No, I never good. did have questions. They okay, had the questions. Sure that's the last thing I said. <laughs> well, you yeah. made a lady cry. We just told them How did I make a lady cry? you were filming her. Oh, you guys are filming too. Just go back inside, bud. You got work to do. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Be safe, sir. Have a safe Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'll be around. That did nothing. Alright guys, so uh, apparently they have a problem with me uh, being on the um, the property walking through. I was just walking. Liar! 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 Yeah, another trait of being a frauditor, being a liar. Uh, you told that man earlier that you were going to be there for a couple hours. And uh, besides, you weren't passing through. If you were passing through, then you would have passed through already. But, you know, you got to lie to fraud it. But wait, hold on. There's a little bit more to this video. So hang tight because, well, it just gets even a little bit more stupid. So uh, now it looks like I can't go in here and buy any jewelry. Uh, oh, well, looks like we're going to have to hang out and, and look in the in the windows a little bit more, so. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. They called the police and nothing happened. A couple more hours I'll be out here. Yeah, guys so uh back to what we were doing i don't know why they called the police this guy uh uh they were uh, i was viewing inside of here and and the police wanted to come and say something this guy came over here and flipped me off for for nothing uh but uh i'm just gonna stand here and record because i can do so <clears throat> Well, now, there you have it. The frauditor said nothing happened, but he ended up getting trespassed from uh, private property. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. We got a lying, narcissistic, sociopathic frauditor on our hands who cares nothing about the truth and will set off red flags just to get a good laugh out of it. Yeah, we got a real moron on our hands, basically. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?